Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Find Duplicates query to find duplicate records within a table. To create a Find Duplicates query, click the Query Wizard button that appears in the Queries group, or the other group as it's called in Access 2007, on the Create tab in the ribbon. In the New Query dialog box, select the Find Duplicates Query Wizard and then click the OK button. The first screen of the Find Duplicates Query Wizard allows you to select the table within which you wish to find duplicate records. Make your selection and then click the Next button to continue. In the second screen, you select by which fields you wish to examine the records in order to look for duplicates. You click on the fields within which you wish to look for duplicate information in the available fields list, and then click the right pointing arrow button to move them into the duplicate value fields list. You cannot have more than 10 fields listed in the duplicate value fields list. When you've added the necessary fields, click the next button to continue. In the third screen, you can select any other additional fields you would like to display in addition to the ones within which you will be searching for duplicate values. You can click on the names of the fields you wish to view in the available fields list and click the right pointing arrow button to move them into the additional query fields list. Then click the next button to continue to the last screen. In the last screen, you can type a name for the query into the text box available and then click the finish button to view the duplicates in a query result set. Now if you want to remove duplicates from a table in Access, note that this is not the recommended process for removing duplicates from a table. This query simply informs you of which records are duplicated in the selected table. And while it is possible to often delete the displayed records from the Find Duplicate Query Result set, you can also remove duplicates using the function of the primary key within a table. Now if you want to remove duplicates from a table in Access, you can right click on the table from which you wish to remove duplicates in the navigation pane, and then select the copy command from the pop-up menu that appears. Then right click into the table list in the navigation pane, and choose paste from the pop-up menu that appears. Doing that will cause the Paste Table As dialog box to appear. In this dialog box, type in a name of the copy of the table that you are about to make and select the Structure Only option in the Paste Options section of the dialog box. Then click OK. Next, open the copy of the table structure that you made in Table Design View. If there are any primary key field assignments made, Remove them by selecting the field or fields by which the primary key is assigned and then clicking the primary key button in the Tools group on the Design tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the combination of fields by which you wish to determine if there are duplicates in the original table and then click the primary key button again to assign the unique combination of values produced by those selected fields as the new primary key for the table. Remember that the purpose of a primary key is to illuminate duplicate values from a table. So once that is done, click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar to save the structural changes you made. At that point, you can then create an append query to append the records from the original table that contains the duplicate records into the new blank table structure. When you run the append query, any records which contain a combined duplicate value in those selected primary key fields will not be appended into the copy of the table.
So here it says we're about to append 13 rows. When you click yes to append the rows, you should see an error message that tells you that a certain number of those rows were not able to be appended due to table key violations. Those are the duplicate records. So you may append the records that were not removed into the copy that you created. Then the copy of the original table should contain duplicate free records. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.